Miami going two by two here. Cheney's first carry, left side, trying to get out to the 50, pulled down by Barrett Carter before he could. Things up for the quarterback in terms of decisions you make in the run game. Cheney stays in. Here's the second down play. And they're going to hit the reverse, and this is Tyler Harrell turning the corner. He'll have the first down into Clemson territory, taken out of the air by Jalen Phillips, and now. And 100 yards the other way for a score. So out of the Clemson turnover, here's Miami off its 20 and new life for Emory Williams in his first collegiate start. And straight ahead, Brashard Smith, who can fly? Will he take it all the way to the five? And he loses it, going into the end zone. On the field is a fumble, then recovered by Emory. Was all the play as a touchdown. Unbelievable. Check this out. This is Brashard Smith. This is why you hustle in football games. Obviously, they break the run. A lot of guys just stop. But he continues to work for his teammate, trying to hustle for a block. By hustling and finishing the play, when that ball comes loose, Jacoby George is there to make the play. Marcus Woods' his crew here. The run, by the way, by Smith, Miami's longest running play of the year at 80 yards. And here is A.J. Allen. His carry of two yards. The Tigers have not allowed a His speed. Tight end and three receivers here for Emory Williams on the second down play. One more give to Allen. He bumped into the tight end himself. That was Elijah Arroyo. Just to hold on to it on top of that, You've got a tight end coming in motion that was going to create a collision in the backfield with your own guy. <laughs> and all of a sudden, third and nine, we think. Miami does not discuss injuries. Canes will scrimmage your second down. And eight to go for Emory Williams, the freshman from Milton, Florida. And this is A.J. Allen. And he will get the first down to the 36 from Monroe, Louisiana. In West, this is where I feel like you need to try to push the ball down the field just to, to prove that you will do it. And early down, first or second down, take some type of shot. And they're going to hand to Allen. He'll break away from the first would be tackler and skip to the 42. Makuba. Miami has two. And Allen trying to crease, cannot. Mickens pulls him down. What was going on here tonight? And did a good job supporting their former coaches. Ball at the 25, first down. And Brashard Smith, who's got the 80 yard run <laughs> that set up Allen in the backfield. And here is Allen trying to get to the perimeter, and Maskell won't have it. Justin Maskell, who campaign with the Tigers. Yeah, he said he's had a great year. It's a good job of just setting the edge and you know really wins against Cam McCormick. And by doing that, Emory Williams drawing the start tonight with Tyler Van Dyke's injury. And he hands to Cheney, who rips the corner and a first down. There's a flag down at your football technically. Right side of your screen, and he's on. TJ Parker and basically a takedown there that the officials see. So the ball as to me because of where you would turn this football over and, and your offense, you know, has a hard time moving the football. Snap to Williams, hands to Cheney, bounces to the right, gets the first down and a lot more. Good hard run by Miami's number two before Clemson's number two. Now Played well at right tackle. Well, T.J. Parker's been a problem, too. Here is, uh, after the penalty, the first down play. And Cheney, second down play. Allen again trying to turn the corner. That's Trotter making the hit. With it now being a two-score game. The longest pass of the night's been 12 yards for Williams. The longest run was 80. Here's Don Cheney for five on first down. Brought it. Every Sunday. Here is Cheney. That'll be a first down breaking through behind right guard. 
And Miami converts the third to the left side of that formation here on first and ten. Cheney trying to get to the right. Picks a seam and he'll be met by Peter Woods. Ball and so he's been clean. Obviously they've protected him. You just look at obviously they haven't thrown for a ton of yards. And this is Smith trying to get the Miami run game cranked up. That's Cheney with Emory Williams. We're going to hand to Cheney. And boy, he got hit right at the line, but I think he'll crease the 48. And yeah. Check out with Jake Brenningstool. Here is uh, Smith. And he will pick up a yard on second down, so it'll be third and four. This young man from the Nashville area. This is probably two downs to get four. Three of ten tonight are the Canes on third down. Here's Cheney racing through and almost stepped out of the last tackle of the drive that ended on downs a possession to go. First and ten. Cheney right side and he'll get up. And Cheney comes off on a bit of a hobble, so A.J. Allen has now checked in to join Williams. He'll get the call here, and Woodaz hits him after a yard or two toward the 20 side. They hit a third down a moment ago. Allen the carry. First down, slides inside the 20. Come back in the ball game now with Williams. They're going to hand the ball to Cheney. And Wood as and Capehart grab Cheney around the shoulder pads. They're class this year in Vegas. Hey, friendly. Good to see McKinney having fun out there oh, as well. Terrific player at both the college and professional level. Here is Allen on the second down play. Miami's been very conservative throwing tests to Colby Young, and here's Emory Williams on first down, and the Tigers, and that field. Three to tie, touchdown will give him the lead. A.J. Allen the ball, carrier, and he will get three to the 47. Tyler. I'm going to hand it to Cheney again, trying to get to the perimeter. Heck of a play by Trotter. It's a huge play by, and, and how about Trotter right here? Just look at the quickness, instincts that he plays with, and a downhill, just able to get enough of Cheney. That's a big stop. Three and a half to play. Cheney on first down. And Kate Denoff wraps him up as he reaches the 20. You're going to be content really winding this down, being in field goal territory. Here's the give. Inside, that's Cheney. He'll get to the 20. It's going to be third down in Clemson's 40-yard line. Maybe even a little closer. Second down. They're going to hand it to Cheney. He got flipped over by Makuba. I just would not be huddling in that scenario. A.J. Allen's coming to backfield here with Williams. One time out left for Miami on a second and ten. They're going to hand it to Allen. He goes right into the teeth of the Tiger defense. Miami fans don't like it. And is Mario Chris. Here's Emory Williams getting his first collegiate start tonight in overtime now against Clemson. And Cheney just bangs on the door straight ahead for three. And there's McCormick to the far side. And that is Riley Williams who had a touchdown catch against Georgia Tech. And the hand to Cheney. Almost a first down. He dragged down at the 16. And putting big guys on the field. You see Maui Noah 61 get up to Trotter and that's what springs him. To Overload here to the right. And the ball to Cheney. Hit right on the button. Phillips crashed the box again for Clemson. Lost a yard, did Cheney. And Borgales will have to cover the rest here in the first hey, overtime. You think Clips is not selling out for the run? Look at here comes Phillips. I mean, just that's a safety player making the play on the Strepo kind of in the drift back near the tight end. Riley Williams. They're gonna hand the ball to Allen. Made a move against Woodass, works to the perimeter, and he'll be flipped over by Makuba around the nine. It'll be battling Clemson and off into overtime. Allen again. And he will dive through toward the six. So it'll be third and second overtime. Allen dances left, cashes in, touchdown Miami. 
Hey, but now if you're Miami, you have to go for two. Did not spend too much time celebrating. Emory Williams got to get his group back. They're going to hand it to Allen. Tries to break to the right, and he gets the two-point play. To get north and south. This is a touchdown run. Looks like he's going to bounce it, but that foot in the ground is able to find his way into the end zone. He's fired up about it, and then on a two-point play just the other side, a similar type run. Foot in the ground, lower those shoulders, and be able to get through T.J. Parker to push into the end zone. Boy, A.J. Allen's been a nice change of pace by Don.